So as you guys have probably noticed from our previous lesson videos, when it comes to insulin signaling as a growth factor, there's a lot for you guys to remember. And so how in the world are you guys supposed to remember the most important components in the correct order when it comes to insulin RTK signaling as a growth factor? Well, that's exactly what this video is all about right here. And I'm going to share with you guys a really creative and unique story that you'll only find here at Clutch Prep that's designed intentionally to help you guys remember the most important components and in the correct order for insulin RTK signaling as a growth factor. And so what you'll notice is over here on the right hand side, we have this image that shows you the most important components in the correct order for insulin RTK signaling as a growth factor. And so notice the top part up here represents the RAS pathway. And notice that it ends with RAS. And then of course, the bottom pathway down here represents the MAPK pathway. And so both the RAS pathway and the MAPK pathway are involved in insulin RTK signaling as a growth factor. And so notice over here on the left hand side, we're showing you the seven steps to this story. And these seven steps that you see here correspond with the seven steps from our previous lesson videos for insulin RTK signaling as a growth factor. And also these seven steps also correspond with the seven numbers that we have down below in our image. And so that's important to keep in mind as we move forward. Now, this story is not fully bulletproof. It's not a perfect story to help you memorize all of the different details. Again, it's only designed to help you guys memorize the most important components in the correct order. So because this pathway starts off with activated IRS1, the first step of our story is that the IRS, the Internal Revenue Service, gives another tax refund. And again, that represents IRS 1. So if we take a look at our image down below, notice that step 1, again, is this cash influx or this tax refund that the IRS is providing. And so that leads us to our second step, and that is that the cell decides to use that money, that tax refund money, to buy two orders of wings on Grubhub. And so the two orders on Grubhub represents GRB2, the adapter protein that binds to IRS1. And so if we take a look at our image down below, notice that we've got the Grubhub symbol here, and specifically we've got these two orders of chicken wings. And so the Grubhub uh, times two here, two orders on Grubhub, represents GRB2. And this leads us to our third step. And in our third step, we have when that Grubhub food actually arrives, the cell decides to add some sauce, some hot sauce to it. And that reminds us of the sauce uh, guanine exchange factor. And so if we take a look at our image down below, notice that the cell is gonna add some hot sauce to the Grubhub wings. And so after the cell adds some hot sauce, uh, he starts eating the food and all of a sudden the hot sauce starts to activate a rash. And the rash, of course, represents the monomeric RAS G protein. And so notice down below in our image, step number four, he's saying, I got a rash from eating those chicken wings there. And so in step number five, uh, the cell decides to call Dr. Raphael. And Dr. Ra Raphael represents the MAP KKK called RAF1. And so if you take a look down below, you can see that we've got Dr. RAF here on the phone since the cell's given him a call. Uh, and he's uh, doc that leads us to step six. And so Dr. RAF says he's going to make, and making something represents the MAPKK mech. He's going to make the irking pain go away. And the irking pain uh, here represents the MAPK irk. And so you can see down below that Dr. Raff tells the cell that he's going to make the irking pain go away. And so you can see we've got this irk pill here for step number seven. And of course the irk pill is going to make its way into the nucleus. And so you can see the guy's mouth over here represents the nucleus. And so it's a really silly, really crazy story, but 
it can helpful it can be really helpful for memorizing the most important components of this pathway in the correct order and so by practicing the story just a handful of times you guys will get this down no problem and so this here concludes our lesson on how to remember the insulin rtk signaling as a growth factor and we'll be able to get some practice in our next couple of videos so i'll see you guys there